to defeat the bugs, we must catch the bugs. We must defend on all fronts to ensure they are caught early and often. Compile time checks help, but there's also a whole set of runtime checks we can also use. That's where strict mode comes in, offering a set of runtime checks you can add to your debug builds to catch potential issues before they hit your users. I'm Ian Lake, and I'll walk you through two of my favorite strict mode features that go beyond performance checks and help you build better apps. So if lint checks are the Android-specific compile time problems you can tell you about, strict mode is the runtime equivalent, pointing out issues that we can detect at runtime so you can fix them early. Much of strict mode is performance-focused. The other Ian does a great job talking about those features in his video as well as the basics of strict mode, but I'm not here to rehash that. Instead, let's talk about the cool new stuff, like VM policies detect file URI exposure. If you're sharing content with other apps, you do not want to be using file URIs. They require storage permissions, and they can't cross between users, and well, just watch my dev bite on sharing content. This strict mode check just makes sure that those file URIs don't make it out to other apps. Like all of strict mode, you can have it log the issue with penalty log, or kill your app completely with penalty death. Build better apps or death should be an easy choice, right? Now, new to Android 6.0 Marshmallow is Detect Clear Text Network. As you might expect from the name, this detects unencrypted network traffic over IPv4 or IPv6, whether you're using TCP or UDP. The thing about mobile devices out in the wild is that you can't really guarantee that they'll actually be connected to trustworthy access points. Risking the security of your user's data or the communication to your server is the last privacy nightmare you want to deal with on launch day. So detect it early and encrypt your network traffic. One thing to keep in mind, you may find false positives when using start TLS protocols or HTTP proxies. Something to be aware of is strict mode starts killing you when you're in fact doing it right. Now, with your app creating extra logging and being killed and all that, you probably want to keep in mind that strict mode should only be enabled for debug builds. The easiest way to do that is by wrapping your strict mode calls in a build config debug check, which is automatically set to false on release builds. There's a lot more to explore with strict mode, but detecting file URIs and clear text network traffic can be extremely useful in finding issues before they're experienced by your users, giving you that extra peace of mind that you're building better apps.